So hi, Microbunter here. I received a question from one of my viewers who had the problem that uh, he was not able to fit uh, um, an eyepiece uh, into the mobile phone adapter because the diameter uh, wouldn't uh, match. So the adapter here was made for a larger eyepiece uh, than the eyepiece itself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly give you a short suggestion how to solve this problem. As a matter of fact, this problem is relatively easy to solve. And the second uh, recommendation that I have is uh, that uh, sometimes when you connect a mobile phone uh, to an eyepiece sometimes you do not see an image that fills uh, the full field of view um, and I also would like to quickly comment uh, on that. Well, not all eyepieces have uh, the same diameter. Uh, the top diameter can be different. The bottom diameter is usually 23 millimeters for compound microscopes and uh, 30 millimeters for stereo microscopes. But um, at the top, uh, they can be different here. And this means that uh, not all mobile phone adapters are able to accept uh, all uh, eyepieces. Um, this uh, one, for example, is quite flexible uh, concerning size. It's able to also accept uh, eyepieces that are quite uh, large in diameter. Those for stereo microscopes, for example, so this fits uh, without any problems um, but uh, then there are other cases uh, where for example here the eyepiece uh, diameter is uh, way too small and even when you close uh, the yeah clamp uh, then even then it's not able to hold the eyepiece uh, and uh, the one that's a little bit uh, wider of course uh, has no problems uh, fitting in snugly and this of course uh, works without problems. The solution is quite easy um, if the eyepiece is too thin uh, just uh, wrap uh, a couple of layers of paper um, around it until um, it reaches uh, the appropriate thickness and usually at the beginning the first uh, part of the paper also has been taped uh, to the eyepiece. In this case I had to um, add several layers um, yeah, and uh, then it fits snugly and then you can also tighten the screw and uh, it's also possible to adjust the distance a little bit this way because uh, later on I'm going to show you here that uh, this is a sign that the distance uh, to the mobile phone camera is not correct. It's either too far away or too close because you want that the edges are sharp and in focus. So we have to change the distance here um, as well. This is the so-called eye eye relief um, and uh, this is uh, done quite easily uh, by um, of course also uh, shifting the eyepiece in and out until uh, we found the optimum distance and then of course we ta uh, cl uh, clamp it tight again. This one is the second um, adapter here, it's the same same system here. You just have to cl clamp it at uh, the correct uh, position. Um, so this means that uh, it's actually a little bit try and trial and error and once set up uh, then um, I would simply leave the eyepiece in there. So it might actually be worth buying a separate eyepiece. This is the way it should look like. The corners um, are sharp and in focus and then of course you can pinch and you can zoom in further. A little digital zoom um, yeah, to fill the whole screen and uh, yeah when the corners the edges are in focus and sharp then you know that you are actually able to see the maximum field of view here. Okay so that's it uh, was a short video I hope you still considered it informative wish you all the best happy micro hunting as always see you around next time bye bye.